What's up guys, it's day one of uh, the new cut, new improved cut I should say. I inputted everything that I made last night um, along with what I was going to have for breakfast this morning uh, into my fitness pal. Alright, and uh, let me just show you uh, the problem I have. Let's take this off here. Alright, let's see here. Alright, so as you guys can see, carb wise, I'm at 222, 63 grams of fat, 162 grams of protein. Now, going over protein is not a huge concern of mine, and it shouldn't be for you guys as well. Just as long as your calories doesn't, it's not like way over, it's not like 40 grams over, then you're going to have issues because obviously your caloric uh, deficit needs, needs to you know, be in effect for you to, to lose weight to cut. So the issue I have is carbs and fat. So you see here I'm 8 grams off, 63 grams of fat. Now you may say, now you may think, well why is that a big deal, you know? Well the deal is, is this, if we go to my macro plan, the following week, I dropped down 200 carbs, 160 grams of protein still, 70 grams of fat still, but my total calories should be 2,070. And if we go back here, that's where I'm at now. So it's like I would be starting at week two, which I don't want to do. So I need to figure out a way to, um, to add in those carbs and fat. So, one thing here is that when I added everything last night, let's zoom up here. So breakfast, you see the oats, like I said I was gonna make. Uh, the eggs, had to minute, had to change some of the eggs. Along with, I'm gonna add some black forest ham for some uh, extra protein and a little bit of fat in there. Lunch is gonna be the same, the ground turkey breast as you guys saw last night, along with the steak fries. For dinner, I'm actually going to have to add some uh, sweet potatoes to that to increase the carbs, which is going to be 44 carbs. Snack-wise, mostly just peanut butter, a protein shake, and um, four rice cakes. So, what I'm thinking, let me put this back here. There we go. So, what I'm thinking, I need eight carbs. Um, right now I only have chocolate rice cakes and each one of those rice cakes is 11 uh, carbs. So I can break that rice cake, one of those rice cakes apart to get my carbs in. However, I'm still going to be missing my fat. So I may have to, as of right now what I'm thinking is, is as, as do that and to get that fat. Um, add uh, a little more peanut butter to that which I'll probably eat. that's that's the game plan so I'm trying to stay away from dairy normally I would add some maybe some cheese in there uh, but um, I'm just trying a new thing where uh, next normally when I start my I've done past my cut is I've only had one serving of dairy per day usually it's in the morning on the uh, on the eggs or late at night I've had some or one of my meals with I'm having like a burger or something like that um, I'll have cheese on that so, I'm just going to try four weeks, no dairy. Anyways, um, so I think that's what I'm going to go from there, figure that out, and then um, I'll have my daily uh, daily meals. Everything. This, this meal plan right here is going to be every day, pretty much for the next, um, next week, until next week. And it's a lot easier just to track stuff and to add stuff. Once you have it, you have it. So, again, um, I should have done this yesterday and or day before that, that way I know what to buy uh, to fill in certain gaps in here. Luckily I had stuff already here. So uh, all right now I'm going to pick up more ham. I think I'm going to finish the ham today. That's left over from last week. Um, the sweet potatoes is actually pretty easy to make. I buy these ones, these are Archer Farms, Target brand basically. I uh, just steam in the bag, just like the veggies I made yesterday. All right, again, for convenience, you can buy, you know, regular sweet potatoes, obviously for a cheaper price. Um, but you just steam the whole bag, and then uh, you're good to go. 
So I have half a bag tonight, half a bag tomorrow. And I have another full bag in the freezer, so I have four servings. And that's what I, or four, yeah, four servings. And that's, no, four, yes, four servings. And that's what I cooked for, prepped for, for four days. So uh, probably in a few days I'll have to go to the store again and get some more stuff. But uh, not a big concern at this point. It's just more figuring this out. And then once I have it, what I do once I have it, I usually don't deviate from this. I'll have it for the same week. And then um, day six or so, or day seven, my last day, I'll change it up and, and figure out what I need for the following week. So, anyways, guys, uh, I know my hair's all messy. Like I said, I just woke up. Well, I've been up for about an hour or so. But anyhow, uh, more morning routine is uh, today is anyways is figuring this stuff out. Having some coffee, watching some YouTube, catching up some YouTube uh, videos, and then um, I'll probably uh, I'm gonna make my breakfast right now. Uh, I'll probably be hitting gym later, early afternoon. Um, depending how much this fills me up, I may not eat. I may just have a snack before I go to the gym, an hour before. Um, especially the rice cakes. Rice cakes are a fairly quick digesting carbs. So, um, I may have two beforehand and two after I work out to replenish the glycogen levels. As far as cardio schedule, I'm going to do cardio four times a week, uh, 20 minute intervals right now. Um, it's going to be low, low intensity. Uh, so, probably be on the treadmill or Stairmaster, just at a, a nice, you know, consistent, slow pace. And I don't mean like slow, so I just mean that I won't be jogging or running. Uh, be uh, if it's on the treadmill, I'll be going at a pretty good speed, you know. Um, so the plan with that is, ideally, yes, you want to do fasted cardio. Um, so I'll probably do my cardio session tomorrow, my first one, which is Tuesday, and then uh, I'll do one probably Thursday. So that's two. Friday, I'm thinking, and then Saturday. So that'll be my four. So I uh, haven't still quite figured out my split yet, uh, what I'll be doing, but I'm leaning towards um, I'm leaning towards working out five days a week, but it's not going to be one, two, three, four, five. It's probably going to be like maybe one, two, three off day, and then one, two. So I'm still working on that, and that's sort of the next thing I'm going to do here. So anyways, guys, uh, I'll check back with you guys later. Uh, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna do um, as far as videos go. I think I'm gonna do at least. I'll do at least one per week on updating on the cut. Um, I definitely do workout videos. Uh, that way you guys can see my new routine. And also, um, I'm gonna try and do a little something different. Try and make it more like a vlog of things. So, anyway, so I'm gonna make my breakfast. Uh, get together my workout routine, and I'll check back with you guys later. Peace. What's up guys? Getting ready to go to the gym. Gonna have my pre-workout and it'll explode. Um, so, quick update on the macros. Yeah. Alright, so as you saw before, I had about 8 carbs. 8 grams of carbs I needed to fill up. And it's actually a good thing because what I forgot to put in was condiments. Meaning, uh, ketchup and some of this uh, spicy buffalo mustard, all right? So, that being said, that's gonna fill up, need some water down here. That's gonna fill up my carbs uh, pretty good, and then um, everything else, guys, is just pretty much intact. So, uh, that was actually a blessing in disguise. So, um, after I work out, I need to go to Target, and um, actually, I'll tell you again, I'll tell you that later. Okay, let me mix this up. So, pre-workout, if, if you haven't seen my uh, review it, and it'll explode, I'll put a link or a thumbnail here you can click on, check it out. Um, so the good news is, or some other news is, is that I figured out my training split. I'm gonna stick to the split. Um, for four weeks and then change it up after that. So the split is this. I'm gonna go today, Monday, it's gonna be my pool day, meaning back and biceps. 
Uh, tomorrow, which is Tuesday, is going to be my push day. It's going to be chest, shoulders, and triceps. So tomorrow will be somewhat of a long day. And then uh, Wednesday will be legs. Thursday's out, Thursday I'll take off. Uh, it'll be active rest day, so I'll do cardio that day. Uh, Friday is going to be full upper body. All right. Followed by Saturday will be legs again or lower body. And then uh, Sunday will be off. Monday do it again. All right. So my days off currently for the next four weeks are going to be Thursday and Sunday. All right. So um, you could I could have done legs today, but my legs are still sort of rec or they are recovering from uh, from the uh, six weeks of the strong um, strongness program. And uh, my I've had some tightness in my shoulder uh, since last week for some reason. Um, I just think my my flexibility and mobility have gotten a lot better. Um, but I've been watching some other stuff, so I'm going to do some other things to increase that. As um, as the it's it's not a hurting pain. It's not even the pain. It's just more of a tightness and a little bit of discomfort in terms of certain movements that I would need to do push push movements. So I'm gonna give one more day rest. If it, it felt it feels a lot better than it has the last couple of days, so that's a good that's a good thing. Um so that's what today I determine I'm gonna do uh my pool stuff. So I'm thinking today. Right now it's gonna be almost two PM here. And um, it shouldn't be that long in the gym. Especially at four o'clock I have uh, or I have the U of A Arizona Wildcats baseball team uh, first game finals college world series congrats to them um so i want to get back in time to watch that game um so today i'm thinking i'm definitely i don't think i'm going to deadlift today what i think i will be doing rack pulls which i'm not sure if, if you guys have seen that before from me or not uh rack pulls uh lat pull downs uh i'll do two row movements so so my two my two um, uh, my two pull down movements is going to be a lat pull down along with uh, reverse uh, pull downs and I'll either use the actual lat pull down machine or they have a hammer shake machine as well um, and then uh, rows is going to be um, dumbbell rows along with um, bent over barbell rows all right. Now, granted, if those if any of those things are taken and, and um, dead set and do it, I'll either move to the next exercise or do some type of replacement on it. And I'll do as much. I'll try and get some filming done today. And then uh, the last thing I'll do would be uh, finishing up um, with some rack pulls. Uh, I'm not going to do shrugs directly because the rack pulls uh, is going to uh, stimulate some of the uh, traps in that as well. So. Rack pull is similar to deadlifts. It, it's it's the same movement. The only difference is that you're not getting the depth. You're not going to start from the floor. You start from right, right around your knee level, kneecap level, pulling the weight up and shrugging back, bringing it down, shrugging back. So it allows you to definitely do a lot more weight than a dead pull, uh, more reps as well. So um. I'll, I'll definitely finish off with that. It's a good finishing movement. So, and then I'll do uh, I'll probably do two exercises for biceps. So, um, I haven't done really any uh, arm type of stuff or any accessory work since for the last six weeks because of the strongest program. So I don't need to do you know normally like doing three to four different exercises for each muscle group. Since I'm doing back, um, I really only have to do really two exercises for biceps. It's keep those stimulated so um, that's the plan for today tomorrow I'm still figuring out what I'm gonna do tomorrow as far as push movements um, it would probably be two for chest two or three for chest actually be three for chest and then two for shoulders and then um, two for triceps again so yeah that sounds good legs that's still a, a, a way off so i'll figure it out probably tomorrow or so so anyways i'm gonna have my pre-workout get my bcas ready and uh i'm not sure if you guys know this know this but lately for my amino acids i've been having beast amino lights all right these are real good this has um electrolytes in it so it keeps uh it keeps um you hydrated throughout your workout 
along with the muscle hydrated. And you get, um, with this, this is not a review. All right, I'm just letting you know what I'm taking. This, you get 10 grams of amino acids, 5 grams of BCAAs. So as you're well aware, in order to have an effective clinical dosage of BCAAs, you need 10 grams, so I mean, you gotta take two scoops. So just a uh, sort of tip there. So anyways, guys, I'm gonna do this, and you guys should see some stuff at the gym. All right, peace. All right, guys, just got done with the gym. Exhausted, felt good though. Uh, shock in the body, you know, not doing this type of lifting for a while. You know, you gotta remember the strong lifts, you don't do any more than five reps, even on warm up. So, doing uh, eight to 12 reps uh, <laughs> definitely uh, tricked, uh, tricked my muscles today. Think, what the hell's going on? So, I got my two rice cakes here. I'm gonna eat that. And I have my one scoop away in here, post-workout snack, uh, carb source, protein source, real simple. So, uh, felt good. Like I said, I'm pretty exhausted, man. I, uh, it's, de it's definitely, uh, you know, I've been lifting the bodybuilding lifestyle for so long that just taking a little six-week break and sort of uh, training a different method and going back to the bodylifting style definitely uh, worked in terms of shocking. Uh, shocking the body, you know. Uh, but it felt good, you know. Um, as you'll see in, in some of the video, that I wasn't able to record everything. But uh, here comes security. But uh, you know, it still came out. I was still able to, uh, you know, the thing with what was I saying? Okay, so I wasn't able to record everything. It's just the way how the gym set up. Uh, it's real, definitely a lot easier if you have someone with you to record but um, you know I just have a little tripod and obviously I can't set that up when the other people are working out and getting their way so did what I can but the good news is surprisingly enough I didn't know this camera was able to record in slow motion <laughs> and I pride myself in being some type of technical person but anyhow so be interesting uh, some of the edits I'll be doing in the future including this one with the slow motion working out so it's pretty cool so anyway guys I gotta run the target U of A plays like in five minutes, I want to say. 
yeah, like a five minute. So I'm running a little bit late, but I go to Target, pick up some more ham. Um, what else I got to get there? Uh, I have some other stuff here. I'm just drawing a blank. So, anyways, guys, I'm gonna hit the road. I'll check back with you guys later. I'm out. All right, guys, got back from the gym. Didn't make it. To, didn't make it to Target. Um, came home. Had a phone call I need to take. So, anyways, here we go. So, I'm gonna have my uh, steak fries along with my lean ground turkey breast. So I'm going to add some flavoring to that and that is a spicy buffalo mustard. All right, macros is pretty macro friendly. It just has one carb, which is like right above my thumb. All right, however, still got to weigh it out. Let's see, one serving size is what, five grams? Yeah. So I'm just going to pour on top of here. So about two carbs right there, a little bit over. So I'm gonna eat this, and then uh, possibly go back, or possibly go to Target. We'll see. Uh, Wildcats are playing right now. We're up two nothing, I think it is. What's the score? One nothing. Two men on top of the third. One out. So we're looking pretty good right now. So anyways, eat that. Some emails to answer. A little bit of work to do, and then uh, I'll see if I hit Target later. So anyways, after that, I got uh, two more things to eat. I'll serve peanut butter and my chicken rice chicken rice what else oh and the vegetables along with the uh, sweet potatoes so sort of high carb dense but i'm doing cardio tomorrow uh fasted cardio i believe we're on 6 6 30 in the morning so um anyways guys i'll check back with you guys later peace all right guys so rendering um the latest or actually it's not the latest this is the latest video you're watching uh rendering encoding the new video uh, I just edit I have about 28 minutes left this is a fairly lengthy video it's gonna run close to almost 30 minutes but it's pretty informative um, as you've already seen since this is the second one so anyways let this encode um, I still have about six more videos to edit um, so just a pro tip here if you get into editing your videos it is better to encode it to YouTube standards using whatever uh, video editor you use and then upload it. Don't let YouTube do it because it takes longer that way. Um, that'd be my advice. Unless you have a really slow computer, then you shouldn't be editing to begin with. But anyhow, um, let that encode. I'm actually going to make my last meal of the day, probably watch some TV. Um, normally, I don't touch my computer when this is doing this. Um, and then usually when it starts uploading it, um, that's when I make a thumbnail put all the description in there and all the good stuff so anyways let's go make my last meal alright so what I'm gonna do is here's my last meal which is the rice chicken and uh, broccoli along with cauliflower however I'm gonna add half a bag of these sweet potatoes now I had these frozen so this may take a little longer to cook instead of in the bag uh, three to four minutes so we'll pop in four minutes and uh, see how it comes out so anyways I'm going to have this last, <clears throat> and uh, that will be my last of the day, everything else, I hit all my macros, um, I'll probably add maybe some uh, French red hot sauce to that, total. but anyways, um, so anyways, uh, first day in the books of the new macros, uh, I feel pretty good, uh, you know, the gym workout went fairly well. Uh, it's super, a lot super easy when you have that full day to prep and you have all your meals pretty much all prepped out. Um, and I'm thinking next week, I may do pancakes instead of oats, I'm not sure. I have some Kodiak cakes and I can actually prep those and all I have to do is cook eggs next week and that's it. Anyways, uh, a lot easier, so take the time. If you have the time, take the time and do the meal preps. Uh, take one day every week. You don't always have, you don't always have to start on a Monday. You start on Sunday, start on Saturday. My, my advice, start now. Um, anyways, that's just, uh, you know, you, it's just a lot convenient, especially uh, if you work in a 9-to-5 job, you have kids, uh, take that time on Sunday or Saturday or even Friday night and prep, you know, for the whole week. So, um, anyways, guys, enjoy this. Watch a little bit of TV. Get back to the editing. Um, a lot more videos to do. So, um, hope you guys liked the video. If you guys have any questions, comment below. 
Don't forget to follow me on all social media outlets. All those links are down below as well. Uh, don't forget to like, share, hit the subscribe button. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Scott Sale. I'm here. And about uh, late afternoon yesterday. And uh, I was busy working, and I'll mention what I'm doing up here later in the, in the, in the video. Let me show you the whole tower room, right? So, Scott Sale